Mobs of stogie bear and gang all chased by Pat O'Brun. The one defective in TV who knows just what he's doing. From getaway car to compact car. The kitty car. So soon? And now here's Beanie and Cecil in a Bob Clampett cartoon. <laughs> the Warring Twenties. One of the most notorious and ruthless racketeers in the history of crime, former enforcer for the Cigar Face Gang, was Stogie Bear. I say, old choppy, you called? Yes, but what's with the accent? This is the way I talk at home, but it's taboo on television. Stogie Bear was wanted for bootlegging, blackmailing, counterfeiting, hijacking, and grand larceny. Hey, what's this, uh, <clears throat> You forgot the numbers racket. Oh, yes, he also took over the numbers racket. One, two, two, three, I love you, these. Stogie Bear spent the best years of his life behind bars. In fact, Stogie has a record as long as your arm. Bars and stripes forever. Long playing, 33 and a third years to life. Recorded in stereo by Sam Quinton, which of course is his pen name. And on the flip side, a new present record release. She was only a jailbird in a guilty cage. This record is so bad. It couldn't have been released. It must have escaped. Stogie Bear was slick, dapper, and always dressed to kill. It was also untouchable. He also wore underworld underwear known as the unmentionables. Last week, he and his gang committed the most daring robbery the world has ever known. They stole every ounce of gold at Fort Hard Knox, including the fillings from the watchman's teeth. This time, they went too far. Washington alerted the FIB, the unbearables, and all other private defective agencies. But they were all unable to crack the case. So they called upon the most fearless member of Robert Jailer's defectives, a super sleuth who got his start with Officer Maul Bruin of Bar 54, and went on to aid Celery Queenstock criminals. Also helped Raymond Bear solve the case of the Barry Mason jar. Pat O'Bruin. O'Bruin's assignment was to bring in Stogie Bear and all the dirty guys and clean up the town. <coughs> Not that way, Fuzzface. It was 48 hours after the robbery, Pat O'Bruin was sitting down to breakfast, a cup of coffee and his favorite sweet roll, a bear claw. <coughs> it was Louie the stool pigeon. He had a hot tip on Scarface and his gang. When Pat heard this, he took off like a bullet. Uh oh, uh, uh, well, so long, Louie. The next morning at 8.32 a.m., the report came in. Stogie Bear and his gang had been spotted in a 1926 Stutz Bearcat and were heading for the hideout at Big Bear Lake. Already, Pat O'Bruin was hot on their tails. All citizens and motorists in this area were warned. And within the hour, the highway was completely deserted, except for three unsuspecting vacationers. Well, there it is, men. One more mile and our vacation starts. What are we going to do on our vacation, Uncle Captain? We're going to hunt bear. <gasps> on television? Oh, seeds. In an all-out effort to stop the gang, O'Bruin phoned the highway patrol to set up roadblocks, but nothing could stop them. As Stogie Bear and his gang were during their hideout, O'Bruin was well aware of the pending danger. One slip and the Robin Hoodlums would bump him off. And who, pray tell, are you? A uh, Pat O'Bruin. I'm after the bare facts. was the beginning of one of the most vicious and violent gun battles in the annals of crime. Oh, golly, fellas. It's Stogie Bear. Shucks. Spotted us. Oh, a special agent for the robber jailers. I deputize you as one of our detectives. <laughs> that tickles. Golly. Now I'm detective, too.
Oh, fellas, uh, I'm going to smoke them out with, with this hair off uh, for crying out loud, uh, tear gas bomb. That sounds like a gasser. Right. Now, let's throw one and have a ball. B-A-W-L, that is. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just can't bear it. It's my first assignment. I, I failed. There are still four killers in that house. I've only got one bullet left. <laughs> Don't cry, mister. <laughs> I'll get you out of this mess. Golly, Cecil, how are you going to shoot four gangsters with only one bullet? It ain't easy. Watch this. Jove, I've been framed. And so with the aid of one very courageous sea serpent, a sea captain, and a small boy, Pat O'Bruin brought another fugitive to justice. No prison can hold me. I'm Stogie Bear, and I'm still the big shot. And that was the end of Stogie Bear and his unmentionables.